today we're going to show you how to make these beautiful floral bonnets for your session. Hi, I'm Gwen from Treasure Memories Photography. I'm here today to show you how to make a beautiful bonnet like this that you can use in one of your sessions. So the supplies that you will need to make this beautiful bonnet is a sheet of felt, usually in white or a color that would match the, the flowers that you're using, um, a little bouquet of flowers, of course I got these at Michael's on sale, you screwed to buy, um, and then a scarf that matches your flowers, scissors, hot glue gun, and glue sticks, of course. So the first thing you want to do is you want to fold your um, felt, and actually we'll fold it the long way, this way here, and then you're going to cut that in half, and this is going to be the bonnet part that you glue things to. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to cut this in half. So you'll have two long strips like this and a long strip like that. And then the next thing we do is we'll prepare the scarf. So this is actually an infinity scarf, so I'm just going to cut it. And then I'm just going to use the length or the width of the scarf um, for, for the trim around the, uh, the brim of the, the bonnet. So I'm just going to cut off maybe about three inches. And I've already measured these uh, scarves so I know that they're going to work out. And then you'll just get a little strip like this. And this is just going to go a ruffle around the brim of your, your bonnet. Okay, so the next part is to um, take apart your flowers. And I um, specifically bought a bouquet of flowers that uh, I knew was going to um, kind of coordinate together and look uh, nice. So I bought a bouquet as opposed to buying just a few stems and trying to put it together myself. Um, and then I just separate them so I can kind of see what I, I have. And then I just uh, cut the stem. So I do leave a bit of the stem on, um, which is fine because they'll be covered and uh, there's no wire sticking out or anything like that. So just uh, maybe about a half an inch of the stem leaf on. Most scissors will be able to cut through, just like that. So just cut all your stems off. This particular uh, bouquet actually has some uh, beautiful greenery as well as the uh, flowers, which is nice. Um, so I'll be sure to put some of those on too. Not too sure about the big, big leaves, but um, I'm sure they look good too. Oh, definitely these leaves. Again, regular scissors should uh, 
be able to work if you want to grab some uh, wire clippers. I'm sure that most of these stems are pretty easy to cut with just scissors. Okay, so now I have all those cut. They're all prepared for me. And now I can get started on the bonnet. So I'm going to take the bonnet brim here, I'm going to use this piece here, and I'm just going to glue um, with the hot glue, just the one side here down, all along the, the, the brim of the, the felt, and then I'm going to fold the other part over and kind of like um, ruffle it all the way across as well. Just as close. Um, to the edge as you can without uh, going over. And again, you can make a bit of a, a ruffle so that it's not so straight on. So it's just going to look like that for now. And then I'm just going to fold it over and ruffle it again. going to be the, the brim of our bonnet. And now we're going to start putting on our flowers. So the, this is going to be the rough side. So underneath there you'll have the, 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 the underneath and then this will be the top side here. So I'm going to glue on top of the, um, the ruffles. So I'm going to just separate my flowers with the different styles. Start with the big hydrangea, and I'm just going to actually put the glue on the felt and then stick the flower down. So put a lot of glue on, and then we just stick the flower, and it's close to the brim, so just like that, um, so that it's hanging over the brim a little bit. That's one point. Gluing. I am doing this backwards, so I'll have to turn it around. And you do want to um, glue them really close together so that it kind of um, like pushes into each other. So you don't want to leave too much space so that it doesn't. Um, so it just seems fuller that way if you're um, right up against each other when we are gluing them. And now I'm just going to turn around so I can put in the, the other little uh, features here, like the little greenery part, just to figure out where to kind of stick them in. And these ones I actually glue um, here, so I'm probably going to end up sticking them on a flower 
as opposed to the, the belt part. There we go. Already. And if you're like me, you're gonna have hot glue sticking all over your hands. Again, there's no real wrong way to do things. Just put more of a it'll look pretty. That one up here. So far, this is what we have. And it folds, it looks like that, beautiful. And then we've got this <laughs> part in the bag, so it will look like that at the top. Um, and that's what these strips over here are for. So we're just going to use one of the long strips and kind of cover the stems of the top. So you're just gonna glue the whole top there and then kind of cover up the, um, the stems, okay? So you just make a nice zigzag line. It doesn't have to be nice, but. Now to the bonnet part. Okay, so I'm going to use the remaining um, strip here, and I'm just going to cut that in half again. Like that. So you'll have a piece like that, and then we're just going to turn it like this, so it'll be like that. And you're actually just going to glue both ends of this and put it right into the middle back part there, and that's just so that when it's on baby's head, it's not going to keep slipping back and forth. Um, it's just a little band in the back. So again, just draw a little bit on the ends. I'm going to glue this part underneath. And there's the bonnet part. It's just how it looks in the back there with the little um, strap. And all the flowers are just uh, pretty much around the brim of the hat. Okay, and now we're just gonna put on the, uh, the tails. So what I do for this is I usually just, um, I'll use the length of the scarf because I like a long, um, a long scarf, or long ties. So I'm cut, sorry, I'm gonna roll it so that I can 
cut a whole bunch at once. It looks like it's here. And again, it doesn't need to be a straight line or perfect. I like it to look a little bit uh, braided. So just roll my scarf on there. And again, I found uh, the scarf actually at the dollar store. So I think it was like maybe um, two or three dollars. And then I'm just going to grab the ends and I'm going to cut off the ends because there is a trim here so I don't really want that to show. I'd rather have frayed ends on both sides. So just cut that. And then I'm going to cut probably about, um, about two and a half inches, maybe three inches because I want it to be pretty wide. So just like that. Again, it's uh, frayed edges, which is kind of how I like it. And then I'm just going to cut this in half. I'm going to cut off the ends here because there's still some trim. And then, so now I have two little strips here. And then I'm just going to glue them um, to the inside of the bonnet um, at the very end where the other brim is. Just right here. Lots of glue right here because it's going to be something that's going to tied. Okay, now we're gonna put the bonnet on our little model here. Again, I like to use long tails to get a beautiful little bow. And there we go. One of our little bonnets. I hope this helps and that you've had fun making them. I'm here today to make a beautiful bonnet for one of our clients. Blah, 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 blah. So some of the supplies that you will need. So the first thing that you'll need, oops, beautiful little model. 